Is that Magic Roundabout? <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, that's the theme tune to our new show. Welcome, everybody, to Guess Something. Um, <laughs> yes. Anything. Uh, it is my utmost pleasure to welcome you to another episode of Anderson's TV with the beautiful Mr. Robert Massard. Hello. And I'm the captain. Um, and today... Um, we have got five semi-random drive pedals. Uh, not entirely random, uh, but Rabir doesn't know what they are, and that's the most important thing. Uh, they're all plugged into my highly used and abused gig rig quartermaster, nice. uh, and being powered from a uh, True Tone One Spot Pro, because we're pro here. Um, okay. And what I'm going to do, plugged into an amp, rabir has got a strap. He doesn't know. He's going to call random numbers out between one and five, and he's going to listen to each of those drive pedals in any order he likes, and then he's got to try and put them in price order. So if you want to play along, what you need to do is uh, unsee everything you've already seen in this video <laughs> and, uh, and start again so that you can't see what pedal Rabir is playing at a time. Happy with that, Rabir? So I literally just have to say, I think this is the fifth most expensive. Yes, and okay. you can switch, you can go back and forth and back and forth as many times as you like until you're happy with your answer. All righty then. Is there a particular, oh, and I should say, uh, all the pedals have got um, controls for volume, gain, and tone. Okay. Some have got more tone controls than others, but I'm not going to tell you what Are that you is. just going to set them and I'm just going to play? So we're all at 12 o'clock at the moment. Perfect. So some of these might be louder than others, whatever. So I, I will adjust okay. whatever you want me to. All righty then. I would like to start with the magic number, which is three. Three is the magic number. There you go. <laughs> Can you turn it off? Off? Yep. <laughs> and then back on. I think it sounds great. Um, Again, you, you, everything's at 12. You could have more okay. or less of anything. Yeah, go on then. Uh, put a little bit more gain in there and, yeah, put a little bit more gain in there. Could you put it to full gain? Yes. Not because I want full gain. I just want to see what the where the ceiling is. Okay, so... It's a oh. fat-sounding pedal. It is a fat-sounding pedal. Is it cheap? Is it expensive? Or somewhere in the middle? It's somewhere in the middle. Maybe that's the game, the name of the game. <laughs> it's it somewhere cheap? in the middle. Is it expensive or somewhere. It's somewhere in the middle. He's saying. I'm going to say that's the third most expensive pedal. I can't believe that you're already guessing. You haven't even heard another pedal yet. Oh, so, do, I, do I have to guess? No, you can just you can go right. I'll hear another one. And oh, then really? I think we can play it like higher or lower, like um, okay. Bruce Forsyth. And then as I do the next one, you go. Is that more expensive? Or less expensive okay. than the last one. We can play that higher or lower. I'm into that. You get uh, nothing. What do you get saying in this game? You get nothing for a pair. Hee hee. Hee hee. I you Absolutely. <laughs> anyone under the age of forty got no idea. That was that was a dodgy uh, Bruce Forsyth impression. 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 Let's go. Is, Bru is Bruce Bruce Forsyth not the guy from Catchphrase? Is he? No. No, Bruce Forsyth was the guy from Strictly Come Dancing oh, okay. yeah, and Generation Game, going back a bit. Just remember the... <laughs> <laughs> Where there's a hand over here yeah. and uh, and somebody doing a job over here. And yeah. You've got to try and work out what the catchphrase is. Uh, that was Sorry, three. right, that was th number three. That was number three. Can I have number one, please? Number one. Okay. <laughs> Back to the number three. Of course. Sorry, Rabit. Number three is still with its drive on maximum. Shall I recenterize? Yes, it? please. Okay. Double tap that. Double tapped it. Have you seen the Asda advert? Double tap. Oh, oh it's so <laughs> bad. It's so bad. I'm sorry, Asda. It's the worst advertising campaign you've ever done. I can't relate. 
Uh, anyway, <laughs> just saying. Uh, right, uh, number three, halfway up. Okay. <laughs> And then back to number one. Yeah. Okay, this is number one, right? It is number one, yes. Uh, okay, I'm going to... I think that between number one and number three, number one is more affordable. Right. Okay. I'm, uh, thank I feel you. like three My, is uh, more expensive. My glamorous assistant from... Literally, this could be like The Price is Right. <laughs> we just need Pete dressed up in a miniskirt... Uh, and some deep red lipstick on, and he can be my glamorous assistant. Okay, so we're going at the moment that we think number three is more expensive than number one. Yes, that's how okay, I'm feeling. Okay, now in fairness, you've done nothing with the knobs on number one yet. But and I don't in know this if case, I wanna... you, don't, you don't nothing with the knobs. You get nothing for a knob. <laughs> <laughs> twisty knobs and going and give it a little twist. <laughs> nothing for a knob. You twist it for a knob. Right? Bit. Do you want more gain or not? <laughs> Just give it a little twist. Um, what is it that you? What is it that you I want kind of to try and do to this tone to make it sound better? For me, I'm slightly worried to tweak any of them. I feel like at twelve o'clock, that gives me the best representation of which sounds more hey, expensive or less. Well, what's, the, you call, what's the point of putting knobs on pedals then? On anything? This is true. Matter? I think you should use knobs. It's a good point. Rebeer. All right. All right. Give us a little twist. Of what? More gain? More treble? What do you want? Uh, yeah, a bit of treble. <laughs> A bit of treble. Yeah, please. And and, and a bit of gain. Go on, we yeah. do a bit of both. Okay. Gain, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh, it does sound really good that one. Is that number one? That's number one. You wanna go back to number three? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I still feel like number one is more affordable than number okay. three. Okay, right. Well, you have uh, three more numbers to choose. Okay, number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay. They all sound the same. <laughs> this one sounds to me just like number number one. Um, could I have all the gain in this one, please? You could! So there's not much gain in this one. Okay. Okay, sorry, I've just dialed it in. Oh, right. Okay, oh. let's hear... <laughs> oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you want to, again, you want to swap C's anywhere around here? Can you or put number what? one on and then and then halfway through while I'm playing, put number five on? Yeah. Oh, sorry. So number here's number one. Okay. Okay. Way more low end. Okay. This one's more expensive than number one. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, oh. there's something about that that sounds pricey. So it sounds sounds pretty high fidelity because you're getting lots of nice low end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, you've got uh, four and two still to go, Mr. Rabir. And at the moment, as a recap for ladies and gentlemen, I believe you're putting number one as the cheapest one, mm -hmm. number three as the mid price mm -hmm. one, and number five as the dearest one. Are so you? far. So far. All right, then number two. Number two. Okay. And this is at 12 o'clock, right? It is at 12 o'clock. I mean, obviously there's more to go if you want it. Uh, could you, yeah, again, throw in all the gain. Did you 
you turn it up? I turned it up a little bit because I just felt it was like didn't sound as loud as the other ones. Yeah. So, you know. So could you then put back on number five, please? Can I, do you mind if I just adjust number five yeah. to taste? Just can you play a little bit? Yeah. Oh, that, that number two again or what? Yeah, number two, please. See, it the still thing needs with more this volume, one, doesn't it? Number two. It needs more volume, but it sounds really good. Here's number five again. Okay. Now, in fairness, on number five, I actually took a bit of bass end away because I just thought, it was, even though it's like kind of, I guess, nice to have it, mm -hmm. it felt to me a little bit overwhelming. But it's your choice. You can obviously do whatever you like. All right, um, well, then we, but we may as well hear number four now. Oh, that's true. We haven't heard number four, have we? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I like this one. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice feel. Doing, I, I mean, again, I've got everything's at 12, so we can have more or less of anything, give or take. Can I... Wait, so that was four, and before that we did number two, and before that we did number five, and then before that we did number... We'll do a great big one to five yeah, recap, one I think, three. at the end. You didn't mention what you thought number two was. No, I, I feel like number two, again, it's kind of in the middle somewhere. In the middle. This one feels like it's quite expensive. I like it a lot. Uh, what, li literally, it's a 12 o'clock winner? Yeah, no, or, it is. It's, it's, okay, it's, 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 that's it. It's a, it's a great sounding product. All the best products, product. I think, you know, that's it. It's where the designer wanted it to be, 12 o'clock. Yeah. Um, I mean, you want to do a, like a straightforward one through five yeah. run through? That's okay, totally. I'm going to play the same go. lick. Num uh, and I've left them all kind of where I think you like the tones the best. Other okay. than maybe number three, which I've put back to all at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Can you remember the very first one that you tried? Three is the magic number. Yes. Um, did you like the drive where it was or did you like the drive slightly up a little bit? Uh, no, where it was is Where fine. it was. Okay, in that yeah. case then, let's go. Numero uno. Okay. Numero duh. A really nice one. Cat. <laughs> Sink. Uh, oh. Okay. This is actually the hard. I've never done anything like this before. It's really hard. They all sound the same. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> the the penultimate one was the was the brightest one by far. Um, oh man. Okay, so how do we do this now? Do I just tell you which one I think is most expensive? You've got to go one to five. Where are we going? Yeah, I need to know the order of them. So let's go with which one do you think is the most affordable? And again, we can flip back in if you want yeah. to hear again. I think. Could you do number one? <laughs> I think you do, was it number four? That was, okay, yeah. Number one is the most affordable one. Okay. Numero A in first position, which is handy, because I it's where it is, number one, it's the first one. Okay, next okay. then, what do you want to do next? Let's hear two. Uh, 
Uh, and then number three. In all fairness, I've got all the gain wound in on pedal number two and only half of it on pedal number three. So do you want me to... Yeah, back off the gain to halfway again, if that's okay, right. Okay, so, so now we've got a sort of a fair shootout here. Okay. Uh, so number two. Yeah. Numero trois. So number, the one before is cheaper than the one I'm playing now. Right. I'm, I'm reading that, guys, as number two is the next most expensive and number three is the next most expensive after that, as in it's dearer, right? Yes, yeah, so the three is where I thought it would be. Which is kind of, I wonder if this is psych, like, what do you call it? Not psychosomatic, whatever, where literally the random order that I've put the pedals in, you are now saying is the order of what the price is. Uh, which placebo is, effect. Which is, yeah. yeah, is it placebo effect? I don't Good know. band, Bruise. Yeah. Yeah. I think was the song they did that I rather liked. <laughs> uh, right, number four. Number four. Number four? Yes. Oh, it's great. I like that. And then number and five. And finally number five. Number four is more expensive than number five. And is number five... Um... Was the gain all the way up on that? On which one? Number five. Or was that just uh, everything no, at halfway? No, it's kind of three quarters of the way up, yeah. Okay. And number four, the game was only halfway up. Yeah, let's have everything at halfway again. Okay, 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 so okay, number... okay. And I'll just put everything, everything, yeah, halfway. Halfway. We're at halfway, and All here right. is number five. Number five. And then number, number four. four. Yeah, number four. Five, so that's number four, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, that's more expensive than number five in my to my ear. So just the to recap reason... then, I'm going to, just so that the audience is clear and that we're all clear. Yeah. I believe, can I just adjudication? Mm -hmm. um, my adjudicator is looking now. Is this the order that we believe Rabir Massad has ranked them in? One, two, three, four, five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just, here we go. Cheapest one. Okay. <laughs> Yep. Next most cheapest one. Yep. Next one. Next one. <laughs> Next one. Yep. And finally, the one you think's dearest, this one. Yeah. The one I think is most expensive is the brightest and clearest. And the ones I feel like I said were the cheapest were the ones that sounded most compressed, like they didn't have as much dynamic range. Right. That's why I based my guesses on that. I feel like that it was it was just less, you know, I did I have to do less digging in to get it to drive, whereas yeah. that last one I felt more so I could be completely wrong. I've no idea. Are we banking that? Are we are we locking those answers in? We are absolutely we're, doing that. We're I locking the answers in. Good um, would it change your opinion if I told you that the person that you've ranked in lowest position could probably pull all your arms and legs off with his own bare strength? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want oh, to quickly no. put that one as the one you think's the best? Oh, just God. quickly. <laughs> oh, dear. I know who you mean as well. Oh, I'm really sorry. Shall I just go through them then? <laughs> Having said that, though, the one that you think is the best is I suspect uh, ka-ching, ka-ching in terms of product endorsements, Mr. Rabir. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> good guess. Uh, do oh, you want right. to go through them? Y yeah. Okay. So I know which one the first one is because you just said Yeah, the, the first one, one is the Thorpey oh, Gunshot. I'm so sorry, uh, Which Thorpey. is a kind of, you know, it's, I, let's be honest with you. I actually, given that not that much thought and effort went into choosing these five pedals, <laughs> they're all surprisingly similar. Uh, yeah. in this kind of into a clean amplifier with everything at 12 o'clock and a strat. So, but yes, the Thorpey Gunshot. So that should actually have been the second most expensive one. Now, Rabir. Yes. Before we um, relegate the Thorpey Gunshot to the uh, waste paper basket of doom, <laughs> um, I should say, i switch it back on again. Mm -hmm. I intentionally did not adjust this calibrate or caliber. 
control because it does that. Right. And I thought there'll be a giveaway yeah, because there aren't away. many pedals like that. Now that's not a faulty pot. That's where it's changing the bias of the pedal and you get this like weird kind of electrical discharge and that's what makes the naughty noise, but it does quite um, substantially change the character of the pedal. So with the, I'm just gonna let you hear what this sounds like with everything in and see if it brings back in that clarity, not because I want you to bump it back up, but just because I guess people should see that it's not necessarily always um, yeah. a more, uh, what's the right word, like a thick, muddier sounding kind yeah. of drive. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so here we go. Okay. <laughs> It gets pretty well. So, so with it wound out completely, I suspect it'll give you that slightly higher headroom, less fuzzy drive tone. So just a little bit of a play before we move on. I'll be honest with you, I'm frightened Adrian might pull my arms and legs off as well, so I'm doing my best. It's a good sounding pedal, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's turn, up turn up the gain a bit. Okay, come on, everybody, everybody in here is shitting themselves. Please. What we basically <laughs> say. <laughs> anyway, there we go. I'm just, but that's it. So number mm, two, we're going to move okay. on. Number two. Uh, was in fact our most affordable pedal. Uh, it was the um, Tone City Durple, the purple Durple from Danish Pete. Yes. Um, that, uh, now I've got to be honest with you, at 45 quid, uh, that's about a tenth of the price of one of these pedals, and I think it stood up very well and didn't sound a tenth as good as any of them. But that's what the Durple was. Uh, the whole Tone City yeah. range is about that kind of money, and they're all blooming good. Um, the Third one, in third place, is a new contender, probably the newest contender. JHS. It's from the JHS Series 3 pedals. It's the Overdrive. Is it the Overdrive? It's yeah. the Overdrive. And that was the one when you first played it, you really, really liked it. And then kind of subsequently, I don't know, I think you maybe forgot how much you liked it as the demo went on. But um, <laughs> that, yeah. everybody, you can get for £99 or $99 if you live uh, somewhere else. Um, yeah, that's, and, a, that's a good middle price. I, I knew it. You knew it. Okay, knew it. Uh, the next in your range, which didn't quite make the top spot, and I thought it might do because it was certainly fat as faff, uh, and that was the Vemuran Janray. That mm. was the one where I actually rolled the bass end off because I was kind of feeling like it's just overloading this amplifier. Oh, interesting. Good sound. And I also wrote down that you actually said, uh, sounds like number one. Huh. So, nice. what, as in, because, yeah, yeah. When you played the Yan Ray, you said, it sounds like number one. I wrote it down here. So, <laughs> can, I hear the, can I hear it then? Now, uh, yes. <laughs> and now number one. Yeah, it does sound like number one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I it mean, I, I don't know, yeah. there's, there's something, <laughs> you, you know, there, there's something about the, 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 uh, Vemuran pedals, it's like, they've got so many cool artists, you pick the thing up, it feels so good quality. I think you sort of subliminally go, yeah. oh yeah. You convince even yourself. Even though I can't even hear it, there's probably something there that's gonna make me sound awesome. Uh, but that's that one, that's about 400 pounds, right? Um, something like that. Danish Pete? Yeah, that's we need, ridiculous. We need, what could it would be like Danish Barbara, or whatever. Um, <laughs> and unbelievably in first place is the, turn that fuzz off. Unbelievably, in first place, is um, just about the biggest selling, most popular pedal in the world from the biggest selling, most popular pedal brand in the world. Oh no, is it's it a, really? It's a Boss Blues ah. Driver, not even a Wazza one. <laughs> oh just my a ye oldy, cheap as chips. Cheeky what are they, BD2. Like 60 or 70 quid, something like that. Yeah, yeah 60. Uh, Mate. 69, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Something As like that. Um, I so, just must love the wow. sound of them then. Wow. I felt like it was just clear and I could hear everything I was doing and I just feel like I associated that with expensive. Well, what can I say? Thank you to the Quartermaster for making switching them on and off so easy. Thank you wow. to the True Tone One Spot Pro for so... Um, I mean, that's I the right word. Badly, did I? Did I Capably bad? providing nine volts of consistent power. I feel like I was fairly accurate with my, you know, guesses. Do you? <laughs> what, you mean the fact they're all in the wrong no, order in terms minute. of price-wise? Okay. So That's not true, actually. I think the the, the, this one is the, that one's in the correct spot. I got the second most expensive and the second cheapest the this wrong way around. 
Yeah, well, I see. Yes, I see. And what then you're everything saying. else so was in the middle, so it's fine. I did. I did do well. No. No. Did, or I will leave you to decide, audience. Was that good? Uh, would you uh, please come up with a name for this uh, little feature? It was fun. I liked it, and I think we've got this. Is this can never end? We can get chorus yeah, pedals hard. and reverb pedals and metal pedals and all sorts. I think you nailed it with the fact that they all sound quite similar. So it really was difficult. Yeah, really hard to do. And, and yet again, I absolutely if. If you could see what these were, yeah. I swear blind, your brain and your eyes would work together to defeat your ears and you'd just go, yep, that sounds the cheapest one and that sounds the next one and that, and you'd end up with the Vemuran sounding the best one. But as soon as you don't know, Yeah, that's amazing. Stuff happens. Hats off to the BD2 then. Yeah, hats off to the BD2. Wow. Hashtag, hats off to the BD2. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> and I've been Ramsey. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs>